Hello, this is Grandma's Gone Gaming. I am bringing you episode 7 of my 2019 personal world um, that is in the snapshots. And the snapshot we're in right now is 19W09A. Um, there are lots of things that still aren't working. Breeding still isn't working for the villagers. The trading system is still, com I think it's just like basically completely off. Everything is totally locked up where it was um, about two snapshots ago when it quit working. Two or three snapshots ago. Um, I can still trade for the things that are open, but they're just, most of them aren't. Like the cartographer, he was one of the ones that I've cured. I got to trade with him once and it locked up completely. So that's almost done. Um, the librarian, I can trade with him to that point right there. I can give, um, I can give him a book and 12 emeralds, and I can get punch one, and that does not seem to lock up. But I can't get past there because the paper and he it never opens up. I've traded him like five times I think now, and uh, never been able to go any further than that. So. You know, all of the other ones are just kind of a mess also. We have the leather worker here who hasn't locked up yet, but he will only give me the leather pants. He, it won't, I mean, it won't, it hasn't locked up on these, but it uh, won't go any further. So yeah, they're, they're kind of a mess. We still are having problems here with the lighting because I was just down at the uh, dungeons and every time I go down there, especially if I've been away for a little while, um, it, I have dark, whole big dark areas, and uh, I just had to kill like seven creepers down in there that were threatening to take out my dungeon. So yeah, not fun. Let's see, I'm going to put the F3 on so I can see the lighting. Here we have, it's okay, I've just been over here just now before it turned dark, and all of these lights have been replaced, and I think they're all okay until we get like over here and here we have sevens and sixes so there we go we have to replace all of those in order to not have things spawning in the village which really you know this has been going on for quite some time now in the snapshots you'd think this would be something that they worked on but it hasn't been I'm gonna put this over this way yeah okay so I did finish putting all the rest of my uh, zombie traps around the outside as far as I'm going to. Yeah, I'll show you those. We have that one over there, this one over here, and I've got all the doors open out there so that the things that are out there can come in, and that's of course going to come over the top of the wall, that spider, because it's not spider proof, and that doesn't bother me at all. No big deal. We'll just put those put that string I don't know where I picked up oh wait that is actually one of those we'll just put the string over here in uh, there and in regular zombies when they come in they just get killed and I can get the extra XP because I've been I need more to get that sword fixed or get a new one um, I've just been using up a lot of the my XP that I have I'm down to eight I had like, almost 40 at one time, but I've been doing all sorts of uh, enchanting and stuff like that. So mostly I just cleaned all these out, but as I get those kind of things, I will put them in there. Don't see anything else over here. So we'll run around the edges and see if anything has spawned over in the edges. And I'm about ready to pretty much leave this village behind because it is fixed up as good as I'm going to fix it up. Um, but at least until later on, it just ticks me off that um, that the lighting is so glitched. I mean, that's a basic safety thing. You put the lighting in, you know, and that should be something that they're working on. I haven't even seen more than that one zombie villager that got cured. Um, and then since then I haven't seen another one around here. I've killed all sorts of different zombies, but not uh, zombie villagers. Now to get him over here, because there's enough light out in these areas that uh, 
Um, they aren't spawning real closely. He was right there, though. Where did he go? Come on, guy. Oh, there's two of them there. And there's also a creeper. Now, these things are, are good for just about anything, really. Once they see me go in here, which they won't because of that tree watching out this way. Come on, guy. Over here. Come on over this way. I'll get right here where I can go in. And um, now I can keep him out of there by by just hitting that. Nothing can get there, get through there except for me. But I can also shut this door and then reach over here and let him in. Because the uh, hostile mobs are slightly taller than we players are. Okay, so we have another piece of stuff to put in there. And I'll just go through every once in a while and clean things up. So this is working as a pretty good XP grinder. All of these are on the edges. It works almost as good as the ones down below. Okay, and I have one over here on this side that I put in using the diorite. Now earlier over here, I had th the trader was over here right in this corner. And then he came around over to that side and I don't know where he's gotten off to now. I have moved the stuff out of that house over there because it was my space was pretty much used up and the blast furnace was in here plus I now know the recipes to make more of those so I made another blast furnace and I made two smokers which are will cook your food for um, less coal and faster and then I have the grindstone down here and I have a bunch of those made they're pretty cheap to make and then I have um, an anvil there and I have extra room in these and still have more room up here. Ender chest up there. And then I've added a couple of ender chests over here. Now my ender chests I have gotten by uh, creative. I haven't killed all those. I've made a few and then I got tired of it and just made some so that I could have them as I go around. So uh, yeah. Oh, wait. Um, yeah, I guess I was having that go that way, wasn't I? Yeah. I I found uh, from the trader he gave me one pumpkin seed, and for one emerald, which I thought was a pretty good price. It wasn't too bad. So I now have pumpkins and watermelons growing out here, and that's pretty good. And I've obviously been harvesting the wheat and I'm going to go ahead and sleep where my bed is now located there wasn't room really in there in that oh, in that uh, warehouse area for the bed so I just stuck it over here now there is also another weird thing I tried to put the ender chest here and I even tried to put it up here which I can open all of these and these are just for my personal use here um, and I cannot put an ender chest anywhere in this house. It will not open. I can put it there, but it won't open. Now it opens fine out here. And it opens fine in here. But it will not open if I put one down in that chest in that house right there and I'll show you. We'll just put that one down and I have a silk touch now, so I can do that. Um, we'll just try it right here. I'm going to put it right in the middle. Oh, it opened there. But even when I took the bed and the chair out before, it would not open. So I don't know whether it was just something with... Whoop, that's my silk touch in there. Which I don't want to leave it there. Let's try it again in this pair area over here. Which is where I wanted to put it. And it Maybe because of the door. Now it opens. It was just evidently glitched out. But that was where I really wanted to have it, so we'll pick this one up instead. There we go. That's fine with me. But yeah, the, the snapshot is really, really glitchy still. You never know when something's going to happen. And, uh, okay, so I wanted to sleep for a reason because I wanted to show you something else. Now, 
before oh I don't know a couple of couple, uh, after I think it was episode three I I know there's something out here I could oh he's right over there I'm not gonna worry about him I had why is oh this goes down into the dungeon too I forgot about that yeah, it's really dark down in there, probably now. But anyway, I had gone over to check out this village over here. And I know there's another village over there that I've also been to. Um, but I also know that there is a... Uh, right over here somewhere is an, a villager, um, a pillager outpost. And... Um, after I did episode 6, I decided to come back over here and I was going to work on this village. Well, I knew I had run out of the village when there were pillagers coming. But evidently, uh, there's the outpost right over there, the pillager outpost. Evidently, even though I ran and got back to that village, I hear a villager somewhere in there. I came over here again and found there were no villagers in here. But maybe they were just invisible then. Maybe that was another... Look at there. Oh, the trader is down here. And there's a villager. Okay. Well, that's weird. Now, he's a toolsmith. Okay. They must have just been invisible. That has been happening to people in the snapshots. That's another fisherman. So it just may be, because I didn't hear them or anything. They were not here. That's just weird. So I was going to say, I lost all the villagers, but evidently I haven't lost all the villagers. But I do want to be careful because the pillagers will come back through here. And, uh, okay, so the trader left these guys here, which should have meant that somewhere around here there are leads because when he lets go of them usually you can find the leads I do have some from the other village very interesting okay so I don't um, there's food in there I just decided to leave everything here before well I was gonna come over here and maybe just take all this stuff down because if the villagers were gone this village is such a mess that I was just not going to worry about it. I still may do that. But there is a temple here that I haven't been down in to see about that. So you can see how dark it is there. Wait, lots of lighting glitches. I don't even know if I want to go down in there right now. Let's try. Let's get a. Let's get some torches out. I don't hear anything. Let's put one there. And where did we just came in there? So but let's put one in here as well. Do I hear anything? Nope. Alright, so it's definitely light uh daylight up there. So let's go ahead and do this. Whoop, right in here. Wait, that's my that is silk touch. I don't want silk touch. I mean, it didn't hurt that, but, uh, um, and take that out and get down here, and we'll see what we have. I may not take anything back with me. Um, all this kind of stuff I don't really need right now. I have it in other places. Um, loyalty 3, so that's for Trident. I will come back and, and loot these out of here. I just thought maybe there was something... Um, yeah, I'm not going to try to take it all right now because I, my uh, inventory is pretty full. So we'll t take that and I'll come back and get the um, the TNT as well. I actually, you know, let's just put ladders in here. I, I have plenty, so I think what I'll do is just drop all those in there for now. Just put ladders up and then when I come back I'll be able to easily get in. I hear something up here now, I think. Yeah, we'll just uh, actually... Oh, they went down. 
rather not lose the ladders. I have trapdoors, so I'll do that. And put those up here. This is some of the things that I always carry with me, of course. Okay, so yeah, we'll throw in a couple more things in here just to keep it. And hopefully, when I come back, it won't be just totally dark in here. And we shall see about that. All right, that'll keep it going. I can climb up there and... Uh, wow, there isn't even a door on there. It's just totally closed in. That's kind of unusual. Okay, so now we have a safe way to get out. Alright, so that's good enough. And I'm just going to block this off. I think I'll put a couple of torches down in there. Maybe just... I can't reach that far, can I? I'm just going to go ahead and block it off. And sandstone, okay. There we go. And I'll put a torch in the middle of that. And yeah, and there's the pillager outpost, like I said, over there. So I want to do an episode of going over there and not only looting that, but taking it out because I have experimented with those now. And you, if you loot them, fine. If you kill the pillagers, they are going to come back. They keep respawning right there in that pillager outpost. So yeah, I will do that. And yeah, it's kind of nice to know that there are at least a couple of villagers still left over here. It looked like, what, three or four of them? Because I thought they were all gone. So yeah, that's this is basically my uh, snapshot glitch report. It was doing, they were doing pretty well until they hit like 8A, I think it was. Um, I think it was actually 7B or C when my villagers trading system glitched and I kind of expected that because they are working on the trading system it's being completely revamped so they probably just have uh, allowed it to completely glitch and they won't be doing anything about it until that happens so that's okay I'm alright with that but the lighting really bugs me they need to fix that because that's really, really irritating. See, I have dirt in there. I don't have that there. Sand is here. And um, I have building blocks up here. So I'll just do that. Things that don't fit in any other places. Okay, so that's uh, that's where I'm at. And, uh, yeah, I'm making some progress. And the next time that I come back in, it'll be on purpose to go and uh, take out that pillager outpost. And we'll just do that live and hopefully not dead. <laughs> Thanks for watching and bye for now.